Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to create an anti-phishing policy in Microsoft 365. So if we go over here to our security center and go to our secure score recommendations, you can see that there are four recommendations related to phishing protections. So the first one is going to be to set the threshold at two or higher and then to actually set an action to take on phishing detection and then set action to take on high confidence phishing detection is technically in the spam policies, at least today it is. Um, but we'll go ahead and take care of that in the next video anyway. And then to create a zero hour auto purge policy for phishing messages. So this sets the detection level and then this sets the ability that if something is detected as malicious and it was actually delivered to other recipients inside of your organization, it'll be able to go out to all those mailboxes and pull those messages. Uh, so it's a nifty little feature and we're going to enable it in this policy. So we're going to go over here to our um, security portal and our anti-phishing threat policies. As you can see, there's default phishing policies because this is a huge attack vector. Uh, so Microsoft consistently increases the security levels that are at a baseline. So once again, we're gonna target the domains. I'm going to set the phishing threshold to three. I'm going to enable personation protection. So here we're going to manage the senders that we want to protect with impersonation protection. And impersonation protection allows you to have 350 internal and external senders to protect. Uh, so we're just going to add our users for now. And Done. We're going to enable the domains to protect. We're going to check include domains that I own. If you have custom domains, you can add custom domains too. And we're going to make sure that mailbox intelligence is checked. If you have trusted senders, you can populate the trusted senders list. Um, you know, if you have business partners or you know, other organizations that you're federated with that you know you, you have trusted relationships with, you can add them to that. Uh, and then we're going to mail enable intelligence for impersonation protection. And then we're going to enable spoof intelligence. In the actions, we want to quarantine them for everything. We're going to let our security operation guys manage the quarantine. The show first contact safety tip can be annoying if you, basically what it's going to do is give you a, an alert, a little tool tip inside of your email message. This is going to be user facing, so it's important to know this. So if you have the first contact safety tip, um, especially when you first turn it on, it's going to pretty much say that everything's a first contact. So it can get a little bit annoying and that kind of defeats the purpose because then it just becomes noise. Um, but if you have an established exchange environment, and you know you have a mail history and things of that nature. This is a lot more effective. Um, that way, you know when you get a new message from somebody new, you do you do get the safety tip from a user perspective. Uh, so we're going to turn on all these sa uh, safety tips, and we're going to hit next, and then we're going to hit submit. And now I have a blanket phishing policy that you know goes for everything in this tenant. So all the email coming in. Um, We'll start getting applied to that phishing policy. And it has the highest priority, so it's going to get caught first. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to the next one.